Do you know where your taxes are going? In 2008 and 2009, the U.S. Farm Service Agency lent nearly 30 million U.S. dollars to factory hog and poultry farms to build or expand their facilities in the state of Missouri alone. However, with pork supply greater than demand, the government spent 55 million U.S. dollars in taxpayer dollars repurchasing surpluses as of May 2009, with the pork producers asking for an additional 100 million U.S. dollars for projected losses. There were big promises made that these barns would just revitalize a region and a community and bring in all these jobs, etc. That hasn't happened. There's a 10 to 15 percent mortality rate in these hog barns because of the confined way they live. So the jobs didn't materialize and, and communities didn't grow or prosper. And, and in fact, instead of providing benefits, they extracted wealth from communities. We are the ones who are paying the industry to continue producing this problem, producing meat, fish and the like with our hard-earned tax money that's used to subsidize them. Ionic, huh? And all the while, we are suffering from illness, losing lives, grieving over lost loved ones, family members, losing happiness, losing money due to the animal diet. The government could, of course, redirect the billions of dollars now spent on livestock subsidies to help farmers switch to organic vegetable and fruit agriculture. The government could use these powerful tools to spread campaigns about veg alternatives, bans on meat, and laws to help people switch to organic vegan farming and consumption. A global switch to a veg diet could even save the world government a lot of money, as much as 80% of all the climate mitigation costs of 40 trillion U.S. dollars by year 2050. That is, we save 32 trillion U.S. dollars in climate mitigation costs and having a healthy vegan population is a good deal, good business deal in all positive aspects. Be veg, go green to save the planet. For more urgent details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash b dash veg.